Hey guys, how's it going? It's John again from Hive Music, and I've got a super short tutorial here for you today. But it's something I wanted to touch on, and it uh, is just basically something that kind of tripped me up when I first started out in Ableton, and that was basically using Ableton's built-in routing to record or bounce down MIDI notes uh, and retain the MIDI, basically, from like an arpeggiator um, and kind of break that out. So it's something that uh, confused me a bit when I started out, so uh, hopefully somebody can... Uh, get some use out of this and um, yeah, uh, we'll just kind of get right into it here. You're just going to basically for this, uh, you're going to need two MIDI tracks. So we've already got one here. Let's make our other one and we're just going to call this our ARP and uh, we'll call this MIDI Bounce. And basically what we want to do is uh, just go ahead and, and create ourselves a MIDI clip here and just toss some um, notes uh, in there just to kind of get something in there. It doesn't really matter what they are. Um, we'll just do that. And yeah, there we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and, and toss Cthulhu up on here. You can use whatever arpeggiator you want, be it Ableton's uh, built-in ARP or you know another third-party plugin. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're just basically wanting to grab the output of these notes from the arpeggiator, what it turns it into, uh, into this channel here. So we'll just go ahead and uh, mess around here and fiddle with this to get something kind of interesting going on. And that should be fine. What we want to basically capture is these intervals here. Uh, you know, three, six, three, six, six, uh, that down into another track here so that we can either mess around with it, put a different synth on it, something like that. I mean, you could certainly just plop this on top here and, you know, use another synth to your liking. Uh, but, you know, this gives you a little bit more flexibility if you bounce it down because then you can also edit the notes aside from having to edit them in here and just kind of do whatever you want with them. Just good to save if you have a particular MIDI pattern that you come up with that you really like. It's easy to save it uh, and reuse it on other tracks too. So super handy, super easy. And basically to do that, what we need to do is basically go to the track that we want to, uh, a MIDI track. It has to be a MIDI track. And we basically want to take the input from our ARP here. So uh, here's our ARP. And again, uh, like, I, like I've covered in prior videos here, if you don't have this input section, you have to click this little IO button here uh, to, to show that. But once, once that's shown here, you basically go to your inputs uh, on the track that you're gonna record to and select the track that you're recording from. In this case, it's our ARP. Uh, and the last step, we also have to, to go into the second drop down menu here and we have to change this from pre effects post effects to Cthulhu itself uh, and then we can arm the track and go ahead and record and as you can see it's bouncing down all of our notes And it's as simple as that. And then from there, you can uh, get rid of that and, uh, you know, toss whatever whatever you want up on here. Uh, you know, if you just want an operator. And uh, just kind of do whatever you want with it. So, but yeah. Uh, super super simple you can go in here you can edit the notes move them around you can even save this pattern for later use you can just kind of do whatever you want with it then but uh, yeah at least that helps get it out of the arpeggiator and give you a little bit uh, more of a clean slate to kind of move forward with your tracks here so yeah hopefully that uh, helps you uh, out there thanks guys